let's now focus on uh, the landscape module. So, um, the landscape module is a, a panel dedicated to landscape photography and is, uh, has many different sections and all the sections are collapsible and expandable and also you can uh, in, in, in the options if you click here you will get some options if you want to display or not display some some of the modules you also have of course to, the opportunity to, to switch uh, the language and uh, and the license uh, if you switch the mode to the section from multiple to single let's say we, we we do that when we click on a single panel all other panels are collapsed to um, just to focus on, on, on what you what you need to do so le let's uh, go together uh, to see uh, all different sections uh, and check which are the functionalities that um, are covered by by the landscape module of the tonality masks panel so um, the, the logic between the order of the of the different sections is just to provide a, a basic idea of a workflow uh, so there is a, a specific order which you you should or you would apply to to your image all, all different sections um, <clears throat> so uh, from, at the beginning we have the blending we have four different uh, types of uh, blending um, the first one is uh, just classic blending of two of two images or uh, hdr so by clicking on this it will open the the blending dialog which is uh, guided step by step so first you need to select the source files or you, you may browse on, on your computer or you just work on the open documents then you have the options to align the, the layers and then to if you want to simulate multiple exposure you, you may have a, you may click on yes or no then you have the blending which is uh, which may be automatic or manual and then you have uh, some optimization uh, options. We are not going to perform a blending from start to finish because it will be uh, quite time consuming. But the process is guided and very, very easy to be, to be performed. Uh, you also have the opportunity to simulate a long exposure by uh, stacking several uh, different images taken consecutively. You may create a star trail if you have um, multiple shots uh, taken at night for, uh, for stars you can stack them on a, on a star trail automatically and you can also perform a, a mean stack to mainly to, to reduce noise or to increase in some way the sharpness of specific images and the, the second section regards, uh, uh, regards the corrections uh, which should be performed at the beginning of the workflow process so for example in terms of hot pixels this function is very good in uh, detecting and removing the hot pixels uh, you may apply some camera raw corrections uh, so it, it, it just records the module for camera raw and you can apply all of the uh, corrections you may need uh, wh white balance which uh, we have two different way, we, ways which are the automatic and the manual the automatic will uh, just uh, do it uh, um, uh, quickly and while uh, if you click on the manual uh, you need to the, the, the process is uh, uh, slightly more complex because it is calculated an average uh, dominance of the, the, the image you just need to create the, the curve layer, then to select the, uh, uh, the gray tones uh, picker and then pick on, on the dominance of the image and then you have uh, uh, the color balance applied. Then you have the dark neutralizer which is used uh, to neutralize uh, the, the light pollution glow that you have uh, mostly on night photography. So this is very useful for, uh, for night photography. And then we have the frequency separation tools, which is the common tool used mainly on portrait photography to, to perform specific adjustments on, uh, 
on the different frequency on the images low frequency and high frequency uh, then we have tool for color toning which is uh, very very powerful we have two different uh, two different mode uh, essentially if you if we click on hsl we are able to we will get again a dialog where we have all single channels of the images colors R uh, red green blue cyan magenta yellow and for each color you are uh, you are able to customize the u the saturation and and then the uh, light mid and, uh, and dark uh, settings you also have a masking to uh, to protect uh, uh, to protect the adjustments on uh, on highlights and shadows to, to protect uh, uh, clipping on, on the edges of the, of the histogram and this is very very precise that you can customize uh, you can customize every every single every single color and target it specifically and the effect is very very soft and again very very precise you can uh, for every single color you can act on light, mid, dark, uh, tones, saturation, you and, and mask the, to protect highlight uh, and, uh, and shadows. Then you have the tone tools, which again is uh, uh, similar in some ways uh, to the HSL tool, but the main difference is you can uh, now um, work on uh, uh, the, the tonality. Of the color so you just have two kinds of, uh, of tones which are the cold and the warm so by clicking on cold you can adjust uh, blue blues and green and again you can customize if you want it to, to be uh, mostly on uh, light or on, on dark dark tones and then you have again a, a mask to, to select the intensity the uh, of the operation you can enhance also the warm for example and boost the color it is quite good for boosting uh, enhancing color and then you can uh, apply the the final uh, final effect and you, you, you can see the before and after so uh, of course i'm performing something very aggressive to to let you show the uh, the power of the of the tool but we, we are not going to apply it at 100 percent of course <laughs> this kind of uh, uh, of effects let's go now to um, to see the, the other panel which is uh, contrast contrast is uh, 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 the section dedicated to um, to power up the contrast on the image we have Two different, uh, two different tools. Let me delete uh, some some layers. So the the best one is uh, the extractor because the extractor is very very powerful in uh, extracting the contrast from from an image. We we have the intensity for uh, both for lights and for darks. Uh, so you can you can change the intensity and the radius. Of each of the of the two parts of the of the module, and you can adjust the contrast of the overall image. So as you see, the light is acting mostly on clouds and on the flowers, while the dark is acting on the dark color on the sky and on the dark parts of the, the images. Once you're happy with the with the contrast if you like for example the settings you can also save uh, as a preset you just click on save and enter the preset name you will then find uh, the preset uh, here for uh, later uh, usage and you may click on apply when, when you're finished and you can see again the before and after how the contrast is uh, is enhanced without clipping again the highlight and, and the shadows and then there is a mode which is uh, something uh, which is more artistic because it has uh, options to work in black and white 
and you have uh, once you select black and white you can select the style some presets of the styles low key flat or high key and then you can uh, also decide which of the colors uh, uh, should be uh, should be the primary color for the black and white conversion and then you may also work on color and uh, if you want to add some some mode, you can, you may, for example, use a, a, a low key, a low key approach, and then try to see if there is something which, yes, maybe red or magenta it is something which is more more scary, for example, and we can change the opacity, of course, to not get too much. Uh, too much aggressive effect at the end so then we have the dodge and bar section uh, which is classic dodge and bar uh, layers where you can uh, uh, you can perform your, your customization of the image you have a soft light overlay multiply and screen uh, layers so all of these uh, layers are uh, quickly quickly created so you can then use the brush and and dodge and burn where, where, where you need then we have the color theory uh, color theory sections uh, which has been uh, um, created to help uh, color grading the, the images so we have uh, a color wheel color wheel where you can drag and drop all the single pickers and to get the color harmonization by different approach so you can have analogous colors you can have monochromatic colors two colors uh, three colors the triads and then the classic approach on four and, and five colors every single color of course is pickerable and you can set quickly as a color of the brush and uh, you can also for example uh, red the color from uh, an image or you can just get the color palette of the image so if we click here the image is bigger and a palette is generated with the colors starting from shadows to highlights uh, which are uh, part of the images and then you can use these this color tones to specifically uh, edit the, the image or uh, you can also for example apply uh, a grading on the image just by clicking on this of course this again is something very 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 aggressive but if you want to color grade an image and put a, a dominance of a, of a specific color on uh, on each part of the uh, of the grading this is something very very useful and uh, and quick uh, the light simulation section is uh, one of the most uh, artistic <laughs> section of the the panel because uh, it will allow to create uh, with different settings uh, a simulation of the light on, on an image now, oh, since we are, we are working on a small portion of the image, we shall maybe crop this uh, just to make sure we, we work on uh, the single portion of the image. And let's say we want to simulate a gradient of light which is realistic uh, from the top left of, of the image. Let's say we just click uh, here and we we get then the possibility to customize the effect and as you see we we have some light uh, shining from top left corner to the right of course of course this is something which is not coherent with the, with the image because we <laughs> Uh, the sun is uh, may is on, on the other side on maybe on top uh, right but just to let you understand uh, what uh, what this kind uh, uh, tool can do we can may work on something which is creative with the right ray from top right and simulate uh, 
something something like this which again is something very very aggressive and we don't want to to get it too too much so we, we may reduce the the opacity of the two the two layers and the next section is uh, let me delete this the next section is uh, the, one of the most uh, used uh, uh, contains one, one one of the most used tools of uh, the panel which is the glow and Orton uh, dialog so in one single dialog we have three different uh, effects the glow which is used to create uh, diffusions uh, of uh, the light mainly and but with the possibility not only to diffuse the light in terms of intensity but also to uh, insert some color on on the on the on the diffusion and w once you are happy with uh, with your edit again you can save the preset or uh, you may just apply it if you if you like and if of course again you can then work on the intensity here to avoid being too much aggressive on the image and then the orton which is a specific uh, effect we have two kind uh, kind of orton the orton the orton pro the difference is that uh, with the orton you just work on, uh, on the three channels uh, red green and blue while on Orton Pro, you will get uh, a split on on the single channels, but both on light and dark. So you can add a specific Orton effect uh, differently on uh, on light and uh, and dark and dark tones of the images. And again, you can, for example, uh, add some warm color on on the light and add, for example, some dark and blue colors on, on the shadows and once you are happy you may either save uh, your uh, your preset or recall another one you have created and then you can apply the final effect just with a, with a single click we then have the noise, noise reduction tool which um, it contains different different features because you can reduce the, the noise in terms of luminance, prominence, median, which is used mainly when you have a stack of images, and and the bending. And then you have uh, the details. Once you are mostly at the end of your creative process, you may want to enhance your details, and you have different uh, approaches which are high pass, uh, edge contrast, unsharp mask and sharp and the classic unsharp mask is uh, of course we'll, uh, we recall the, uh, the classic tool of photoshop uh, and while the others are specific, uh, are specific tool that you need to be a bit familiar with before, before applying to avoid uh, creating some excessive uh, sharpening or uh, uh, contrast uh, contrasting uh, on, on the image finally the final part of the panel is a user action where you can uh, assign specific actions you have recorded uh, to, to the single button so just just by clicking on the button you will uh, get the opportunity to, uh, to assign to send the action from your customized uh, action and then that's uh, almost uh, everything for this uh, very quick overview for uh, the landscape uh, panel.